What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another video. My name is Miles with Holiday World out of Dallas, Texas. And today, we are taking a look at all of the differences between the 2022 and the 2023 Keystone Montana. So if you already know what the outside of a 2022 Montana is, you would have no idea that this behind me is a 2023 Keystone Montana. This is the 3123 RL. So we are seeing some changes to some of the model numbers from 2022 to 2023. And then this here, the exterior did not get any changes from 2022, which I'm not too mad about. I think Montana looks pretty on brand with the way that this exterior looks, but you can let me know down below in the comments if you would have liked to see a change to the exterior look of the Montana. But that doesn't mean that there aren't changes that occurred in the Montana lineup for 2023. So we're gonna go take a look at them and we're gonna dive right in. Let's go. So as we go through this comparison here, we are not looking at an exact apples for apples comparison as far as the Montana layout goes. This here that we're looking at is the Montana 3123 RL. So the 2022 model of this would have been a Montana 3121 RL. So we'll see that in a lot of the model numbers for 2023, where something that was like a 3121 will now be a 3123. Same with like, I believe the 3791 RD is now going to be a 3793 RD. So you'll see some of those changes, but we are going to be jumping back and forth with another Montana over here, which is the 3231 CK. So that is just a two foot longer version of this floor plan here. There obviously are some differences in the floor plan layouts between the two. But this will give you the gist of kind of what all the changes are. And then for examples that don't really show well on the 3231 CK, I will just put something up here on the screen that will show you kind of what the 2022 model 3121 looked like through images instead of video. Um, we'll start with going to the inside though and show all of the inside differences. One of the first things right away that I noticed is your screen defender here they got rid of that for 2023. So the 2022 had the screen defender on here. This was a cost thing where they just got rid of this. This is an additional piece of equipment that you can still get put on your RV, but they are not putting it on from the manufacturer, honestly, just to save a bit of money from everything that I understand, um, to try to keep it in a competitive price range that has made Montana so popular and so successful. So that's the only thing we're gonna talk about out here. The rest uh, will be inside and then we'll come back to the outside stuff here in a minute. All right, now as we come inside, again, not an exact apples for apples comparison because what we're looking at here in the 2023 model is in their cottage white interior. What we're looking at in the 2022 model is in a bourbon interior color. So the only thing that changes with interior colors from Montana between a bourbon and a cottage white is these cabinet colors here. So you have the white cabinets there that are the cottage white interior color. Um, they both come with the same colored sofas for cottage white and bourbon. And then Montana does also have a cobblestone interior color option as well, which is going to come with a cream colored sofa or kind of like a stone colored sofa with the same gray counters or the same cabinets, sorry, the same gray cabinets that are in the bourbon interior color package as well. I also noticed, I don't even have all the lights on in here. There we go. Get everything turned on in here. So, all right, so you kind of see your look around here and then you'll see on screen as well, your look around the Montana 3231 CK, the 2022 model. And immediately you probably notice some differences. So the first thing that is the most glaring differences to me starting from going up and down is you have your new light fixtures in here for 2023, a different kind of mounting system there that they have as well for that as far as the design goes. And then you have your new lights and then you have a new island kitchen design where you also have like this kind of bezeled off corner there on the countertop which looks really nice this curved sleek design there with storage shelves on the side and this new sort of island design setup that you have so as we go through this let me know your thoughts let me know what you like what you don't like about what they changed let me know what some of your favorite things are that they changed for 2020, uh, 2023, sorry. Or maybe what some of your um, things that you don't like that they changed are your least favorite things for what they changed. So you have that there. And then as we're staying in the island, again, just wanna really emphasize that change there. Um, let's look at the sink here as well because they did go to a single basin sink. So still solid surface countertops. You do actually have a different countertop color than what you had in the 2022 models. 
So open that up and you can see you have the single basin sink in here now. And it does come with this drying rack, both for above the sink, kind of like a prep rack. And then you do have this additional drying rack that will come in the sink as well. So more sink features coming for 2022 than what was in the 2023. And it is now a single basin sink instead of that split, like kind of 70, 30 sink that we saw in the 2022 model. Gosh, it's really tough. I feel like I'm gonna get tongue tied this whole video trying to go back and forth between saying 2022, 2023, all the different model numbers, all that stuff. But just bear with me here, y'all. So get that back on there, roll that back. You can kind of see how that sets up there. So that's a different change as well. Um, you can see you do have, still have the solid surface sink covers here. So those are solid on that. Now, looking at your drawers and cabinets, everything here is the same, just wanna make sure, cool, you still have soft clothes on these here. So those are soft clothes. Early on in 2022, we did see some models that did not have the soft clothes drawers on them. So soft clothes drawers are back, soft clothes cabinets are back. And then up here, they did um, delete the spice rack here. So back in the 2022 models, they had a spice rack that pulled out of there. They did get rid of that in this area as well. So now it is just open storage in there instead of having a pull out spice rack. In all of your Montanas for 2023, you have a new oven in here. So this is a Furion three burner stove, really big cooktop, looks very professional grade, has a really nice sleek look to it. Definitely looks a bit more like rugged than the Suburban. And this oven in here, I don't know the exact, gosh, I wish I knew the dimensions of it. Of course, I don't know the dimensions of it. This looks really wide. Like this looks extremely wide. I may just be, I'm like, I don't know if I'm just imagining things or if this is wider than the Suburban and the Insignia. Okay, so from just measuring it with my phone real quick, I'm um, using the measuring app on my phone. It says the width from here to here is 24 inches. So that there, I believe, I need to go measure an Insignia cooktop real quick. Cause I think the Insignia four burner stove and oven is only 22 inches wide. So give me just a second to go check that. Oh yeah, it is definitely bigger than this Suburban stove right here. This is actually only, you can see right here. Oh gosh, if you can see it. 21 and a half inches wide, maybe 22 inches wide to this spot right here to the sidewall. So that Furion stove is at least two, if not three inches wider than the Suburban stove that's in here. And then let's go look at the Insignia. All right, and I apologize for geeking out on this, but look, the Insignia is 22 and a half inches wide. So that Furion stove, you're looking at it here with the Insignia. Yes, it's a nice, tall oven that you have in here, but the Furion one is wider by at least two inches than what this Insignia is. So that's where your big difference is. This obviously has been that really popular four burner stove top that you have on here. That Furion I think is a great alternative option that's gonna give you an even wider oven than what the Insignia is. So again, I apologize for geeking out on this, but you can see that is 24 inches wide there on this Furion oven. So this is giving you your widest cooktop and your widest oven that you're going to have. And then when you open this up, again, I can't remember if I opened this up before I went and measured everything, but you have a lot of space in there. And then this still does give you, should give you, oh, there we go. Storage down underneath here. See, so you have your tire pressure monitoring system that comes standard on a Montana. You have the backup and side cameras as part of the legacy package on a Montana, but we'll talk about that a little bit when we go outside. So you get more storage here than you get with the Insignia oven and that is going to give you that really wide oven space in here as well with a wider range top. So that is pretty neat, did not know that. All right, as we keep moving around, let's get to more changes. You're going to have new kind of style and designs on your balance finishes here. Also difference in your light fixture here as well with kind of the design that's in there. Um, but this is just a different color scheme than what was in Montana for the previous year, pretty much. Still solid wood on there for that. Little bit different design for your texture and what the design is on the glass work here in the Montana on these glass doors. Um, the floor color is different. So it's a little bit lighter floor color in the 2023 Montana and 
your slide out color for like these, this uh, woven PVC material here is a different color as well for 2023. So you can see the difference in color between those there as well. Now this is a big change. This is why they have the model number changes in the 3121 RL. You can see on the screen what this area looked like next to the fridge in the 3121 where you had that design set up there. Now they have this two door pantry system. When you pull this door open to the side here, you still have your coffee bar area in here with an outlet that opens up and you have all your shelving plus your little coffee bar area. And then you have pantry here as well. So I kind of like this change because what this did is this basically gave you double the amount of pantry space while still maintaining a coffee bar area if you want it. So I think this was a pretty neat change. Um, it does look quite a bit different on the exterior. Um, kind of closing that off there. It almost looks like there'd be a mid bunk behind there. And then it does have really nice LED lighting back through there to light up that space and illuminate that space as well. So that is another change that we see in that regard. And I believe that is, oh, uh, one last thing, your backsplash also looks different. So you can see your backsplash back behind here. Your colors went to a lighter color versus a gray color. So you do have that difference as well. Then obviously while we're here, we'll talk about the price real quick. The MSRP on this model here is 143,213. So we did see an increase in price on these because that was the MSRP for this model. And then the MSRP for the 3231 CK that is two feet longer, the Montana 3231 CK is 133. So for a two foot longer fifth wheel, now keep in mind, this does also have the legacy package on it. So it's not really an exact apples for apples because that's 7875 that is for the legacy package so if you took that out this would drop by almost 8,000. so that would put you really actually in the same ballpark as far as msrp goes um but two foot difference um so actually i think montana after upon looking at this knowing that this has a legacy package and the montana 3231 ck that did not have the legacy package is at a 133 I believe Montana is trying to stay right in the same MSRP mark for their 23 models versus their 22 models. That's what it appears like to me. Now, as far as like a sales price perspective, if you're looking at 23 models and 2022 models are still available, I am in a sales position. So I am in a position to sell you an RV and I would love to personally help you out in assisting you in making an RV that you're looking at here yours if it's one that you want, including this one that we're standing in. When you're looking at sales prices for 2022s versus 2023s, the 2022s are going to be discounted more than a 2023 will. So if you like the 2023, that is awesome. I would definitely love to help you get into this 2023, but just know that from a dealership's perspective, like we wanna get rid of the 2022 models that we have, and we're gonna be much more aggressive on the 2022s. So if you are interested in an RV and want the best deal possible, these 2022s are discounted down to next to nothing as far as like what a dealership will make to sell it to you. So you can get a great deal on those as we are wanting to get rid of them. So that is something to keep in mind as well. One thing I almost forgot to mention as well is you have a new fan in here. So the fan in here is more modern looking than was it than what was in the 2022. So a really nice clean black modern looking ceiling fan that you have as well. Now, as we come up into the bathroom and bedroom, you do have this nice shelving space here that they added in. So you have all that there. This all behind here is all pretty much the same. Um, grab handle still the same. Your bathrooms really did not change much as far as the look and aesthetics in here. Everything is pretty much the same except for this area. Because of the change to the pantry, you now have this really big storage space all the way back through here, again back through here. And then you have a spot for a waste bin down underneath there. So those are some changes that you have there as well in the bathroom that are a little bit different. And then going into the bedroom, everything in the bedroom is pretty much the same. I don't think I have caught or seen any differences. Maybe the headboard like kind of design back there is a little different, but still have the really cool ambient light and 
reading light above your reading area here in the Montana. We lost a pillow here. Not that we didn't lose it, but it's somewhere in the RV somewhere. But it has another pillow that it comes with as well. And then everything as far as your closet and wardrobe area remain the same. So that is pretty much, oh, and your door. Your door here is different in the 2023 model for the sliding door going to the bedroom versus the 22. And that is pretty much everything as far as differences go. I'll give you one last kind of quick look over the inside and then we'll head outside. So to go outside here, one of the biggest changes for 2023 is now when you order a Montana with a legacy package, it is coming with disc brakes again. So you have your disc brake back behind there. That was an option where in 2022, there was just very limited availability for disc brakes. And because of how popular the Montana legacy package is, Montana was just not able to supply enough disc brakes to keep up with that. So they removed the disc brake option from the legacy package for 2022. That's not a problem anymore. So Montana's with the legacy package like this one has are going to come with the disc brakes. And then when we open this up here, also, if you're looking for more information on what's all in the legacy package, I will be doing a standalone video of this model here that has the legacy package where I'm gonna walk through everything in this entire RV. So stay tuned for that, because this that will be an upcoming video where I am going to walk through this whole RV and show you everything top to bottom on it and show it not as a 2022 versus a 2023, but just show you what this RV all has on it as it sits here. Now down underneath here, you have a new material color here. Still pretty much the same material as what was in the last year's model, but it is just a different color in here. And then nothing else really changed down underneath this area. So everything kind of remained consistent through here. Coming up front, there were some 2022 models that did not have the slam latch doors here. Slam latch doors are nice because it makes it so that you can just slam that shut there. You can see like this Montana 3781 RL next to us. You have these little metal clips. So when you wanna to go to close this door, there's no slamming it shut. You have to hold it closed with your hand and then twist that to get it to stay closed. And then you have the second one with the key down there. So there were a lot of 2022 Montana models that did not have the slam latch doors there. Um, 2023 models will have those slam latch doors. And then all of your 2023 Keystone RVs, so not just Montana, but Keystone in general, are coming with the 200 amp hour lithium batteries. So they are down underneath that black box right there. You have two 100 amp hour Dragonfly lithium batteries coming standard on Montana, as well as every other Keystone RV all the way down to their entry level Springdales. Coming down through this area, um, don't think there's a whole lot of changes down through here. Oh yeah, on the 2023s, you now have this solar panel disconnect switch. So if you wanna kill the power from the solar panels going to the battery, you can shut that off there. So that is just a little feature there that you have the ability to do now that was not on the 2022. Um, I think, oh, and you have a 16 gallon gas electric water heater. So it went from a 12 gallon to a 16 gallon. Obviously 16 gallon has never been used in any RV that I've ever had before because this is new for 2023. So I have no idea how long a 16 gallon gas electric water heater is gonna last, but I would imagine this is going to give you a ton of hot water supply. And the great thing about having a tanked water heater versus a tankless water heater is this can run off electric and propane. So on a tankless water heater, that is only going to run off of propane. So yes, a tankless water heater technically gives you unlimited hot water, but the hot water is only gonna last for however long you have propane. Once you're out of propane, you're out of hot water. So this here has an electric and a propane heating element to it. So you can conserve some of your propane with heating up your water in a 16 gallon gas electric water heater. And that is pretty much everything on all the changes. There may be one or two things that I might've missed. I really hope I didn't miss anything, but to make sure you catch everything on what this fifth wheel has, this 2023 Keystone Montana 3123 RL, it's gonna take me a while to get used to saying those numbers. Make sure to stay tuned and subscribe to my channel because I will be uploading a video of this one in a, either a day or two, probably after this video goes up. So stay tuned for that. All right, y'all, that's all I got for you. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button down below and definitely hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. 
we're in a really cool time where if you do subscribe, we're starting to get the 2023 models in while we still have a bunch of 2022 models available. So this means two things. One, you're still going to be seeing me post about 2022 models and the great deals that we currently have on the ones that are still available that are 2022s. And as the 2023s roll in, I am able to do a lot of comparisons and show you through video what is different on a 22 versus a 23, what changes occurred just like we did in this video. So hit subscribe to stay up to date with all that. There's a lot of really fun content coming up in the next couple months on my channel, so I'm really excited. And that's all I got for y'all. Until next time, I'll see y'all camping.